darlings welcome to my channel i'm your favorite tarot reader sita here again today with a new pick up i'll reading you only another topic that is ah oh, that's my favorite who will propose whom first time exactly exactly who is gonna be proposing for the first time it's you or your future spouse who is going to confess their love for the first time oh my god maybe you know you guys in a relationship we have feelings for each other but we are so shy and you know sometimes scared of embarrassment or something that we dare not to do a uh, propose or confess our love for the first time but here we are gonna be revealing what our future holds okay so remember that my darling this is a general reading so if you're new to my channel have no idea what is going on let me tell you my darling so i'm an intuitive tarot reader i use my intuition and magical power to channel the message from angels and universe to guide you guys and my darlings remember this is a general reading so 80 to 90 percent of message is going to resonate with you for some of you 100 percent is going to resonate and it's going to make you feel like you are having a personal reading and if you're someone that nothing is resonating at all maybe you're chosen the wrong pile and remember that my darlings before choosing a pile clear your energy go to a secluded places okay move out from uh, any kind of crowded place because sometimes our energy got distracted by others okay remember that and my darlings here you go three piles i'm gonna be using essential oils today as piles pile one pile two pile three so this is pile one this is a beautiful citronella essential oil okay let me focus it my darling Okay, this is beautiful citronella essential oil. This is beautiful pile one. Pile two is a beautiful mandarin essential oil. Pile three is a lemongrass essential oil. I'll put the name in my description box and the timestamps here. Click on the timestamps and the video will give you the exact timing and when your pile is going to start it. And let me give you a closure look, my darlings. okay so let's go my darlings i'll get the timestamps in the description box go there click on your timestamps and jump into your reading i'm so excited let's go hello my beautiful pile number one my beautiful darling so if you choose this citronella essential oil this is your reading and you choose this beautiful citronella essential oil that is all about healing properties that it heals our physical body our physical pain and you know what after coming into this relationship this is like magical that you are literally gonna be having a beautiful glowy skin and your physical looks and your seductive nature will be on point this is about you know your uh, venus position on your chart or maybe you are having some kind of a very powerful navamsha in your birth chart you should look at that okay because i'm getting your relationship is literally gonna be giving lots of beautiful glowy skin and having a beautiful body beautiful physique and seductive features it is exactly you know um boosting your seductive power whenever you are in a perfect relationship you will see that many people are liter literally attracted towards you because of your physical beauty and it's crazy right my darling so yeah to this topic you already know that you are gonna be seeing who will exactly gonna be proposing for the first First time if it's you or your future spouse so let's go first i'm going to use this beautiful divine tarot first of all let me settle my camera okay yes now it's perfect my darling so first of all i'm going to use this beautiful divine tarot and you're gonna be seeing the situation that you guys will have at that time of proposing and then i'm gonna be jumping into who will do that for the first time okay first of all i need to the situation that you know which time what will be the circumstances that the thing is literally happening in your life i need to know the situations my spirit guides guide an angel archangel michael Maharsel, channeled message to me for my beautiful pile number one Whoever choose this beautiful pile, my darling, spirits tell me what will be the situation of this beautiful proposals, okay? What will be the situation? Okay. These two cards, are, wow. Oh my God, wow. Look at that. The lovers and the six of cups. Are you kidding me? 
I shuffled in front of you and you guys saw me shuffling live, right? And the lovers and the six of cups, that's why I love to shuffle in front of you. Oh my god, it's literally crazy. The lovers and the six of cups, both of these is exactly soulmate card, soulmate vibration, past life connection. You guys may be very good friends, best friend kind of relationship. I can sense my darling as you know the lovers card is the gemini energy your future spouse will be very good friend of yours and first of all you guys will be so open communicate so openly communicating with uh, each other I, i'm sensing both of you will be in a situation when there there is lots of flowers this is maybe a garden lots of flowers are here or this may be a beautiful hotel or resort because i don't know if you can see because i can see there is a custom kind of a tower there is also a high place because it's also windows and it is like high place high tower this is a beautiful hotel or fancy restaurant maybe okay i can sense my beautiful babies my darlings first of all let me focus it can you sense the lover's card is exactly reminding me of this beauty and the beast in fact in the book of this deck there is literally writing the story that is beauty and the beast though this beautiful couple looks very intimidating at first but other people can sense that how powerful you guys are and you guys are exactly seeing the optimistic thing in this relationship and literally avoiding those shadow side as you know there is roses so the roses have thrones right but in this relationship both of you are exactly uh, focusing on the positive flower on the beautiful flower that is so auspicious to get and exactly overlooking the whole negative things and in your relationship both of you will be doing lots of compromise and it's coming so naturally i can sense my darling both of you may be having a fully different kind of a background it may be like you know someone is very soft and other one is very harsh and i can sensing both of you belonging from a different kind of community it's maybe like same country same language it may be different country different language it may be that you guys are having something in common but you guys are having a different side as well it's like bella and rumpel okay so i am getting my darling see you my beautiful pile number one whoever watching this you're very soft innocent emotional you you believe in the lovey-dovey feelings and you believe in the fairy tale loves and lots of positive things but your future spouse is having lots of backstabbing and they have seen lots of uh, treacherous activities so they have literally lost faith on the love relationship but both of you are coming together and making each other feel so loved and healed from any kind of trauma it's very healing okay and then as you know you got the six of cups that is about a very good friendship that you guys will be having at first then it's kind of a feeling like it's not that one is gonna be proposing the other it's like uh, both of you already know that you guys are into love so in a way i'm getting that it's like both of you are proposing at the same point of time or maybe like exactly one is telling and the other one is telling the thing at the same time so same time you guys are exactly telling the three magical words i love you i can sense the other one is proposing and the another one is literally accepting it right away i can sense this is instant connection that both of you can feel so let's move on to the other cards because these two cards are amazing pisces cancer scorpio this is pisces cancer scorpio this is a beautiful uh, gemini energy and both of these cards a soulmate you guys are having past life connection for sure and i'm sensing my darlings in this relationship one is literally you know one maybe you or your future spouse someone is literally having lots of power in the community someone is literally belonging into a very powerful job powerful post okay okay so how many two Oh my god king of wands and the page of wands okay both of these cards are um okay one card to so iris leo sagittarius and page of wands is all about child like activities child like excitement okay this page of wands is all about doing fun and happiness and uh, i do not care what other people think anymore i'll just go on whatever i feel whatever it feels right for me 
it's a page of wands in this uh, right now it's giving me the vibration that at the point of time the proposal will happen both of you you and your future spouse will be in a moment in a mode that i don't care i really don't care and they will not care that what other people are gonna be saying and you don't care about your parents they don't care about their parents because you guys know that if you guys choosing each other your parents your friends your family everyone is gonna be supporting you guys so i am getting that being in this relationship you guys are power couple you guys have their you guys have your own decision and they got it their own decision so no one is gonna be manipulating you guys to choose anyone okay it's like exactly free will voluntary you guys are having this relationship i can sense my darling your future spouse brings out this kind of a child like activities uh from you i can sense my pile number one i don't know if you know this about yourself or not but you are exactly like a child but you are having an adult edge but you, you may look like an adult but your mind is still like a child and your future spouse loves that child like behavior your future spouse loved your inner child so yes and then king of wands is here that is about your future spouse exactly gonna be very confident about this relationship your future spouse knows that they are investing their time in a perfect place they're not gonna be losing you you're not gonna be losing them this is not um place where there is any chance of cheating no no chance of cheating i can sense your future spouse got a lot of confidence in this relationship i mean you sh you exactly 100 percent you are showing your truly care and your true loyalty in this relationship you are 100 percent capable of showing that loyalty to your future spouse and that's why your future spouse got a lot of confidence in this relationship it's like yeah this is like wife your hobby material my pile number one is not gonna be leaving me like other people did in my family or friendship or maybe in a past relationship if they have any okay because i'm not getting there had they have have they were having some kind of this kind of relationship but it's maybe their uh, have got some kind of a um, like very bad a toxic friendship or partnership in business or something like that but i'm getting very confident yes lots of confidence is coming out of this relationship so what else what else i'm gonna be choosing one more card the situation will be amazing i'm getting pile number one you're always waiting for this perfect situation for this marriage though i'm getting my pile number one you're gonna be confessing your love for the first time it's not like proposing proposing but it's like like confessing what your true feelings are it's like maybe your future spouse have asked you something about how do you feel about them and if you see any kind of future with them or not and you are exactly confessing your true feelings for them i can sense my pile number one you will be very true to your future spouse you will not be feeling any kind of shy or embarrassment or any kind of um not embarrassment it's not the right word right what is shy or feeling uneasy no you're not gonna be feeling that way because your future spouse is your best friend or they are you guys are having a very good friendship so it, you know in a very friendly way they're gonna be asking you that if what, what what is your feelings about this relationship do you want to continue this so they're gonna be asking you this type of question and you're gonna be exactly confessing your true feelings for them and how you see the future with them then the card is oh oh my god yes boom six of pentacle that is six of coins i can sense both of you are proposing and confessing love feelings in front front of each other these are exact same timing look at that my darlings number six is all about equal equal give and take see six of cups and six of coins these two cards exactly soulmate vibration very good friendship a very good uh companionship you guys can connect with each other in the same level your likes dislikes whatever you think whatever your criticisms about other things exactly same you guys kind of are like this is telepathic connection that's having so yeah boom 
six of pentacles is about you are giving them something you are giving them a beautiful um, permanent relationship commitment and as well as they are giving you this commitment this committed relationship at the same point of time because six of pentacles equal give and take six of cups there is past life connection friendliness this is like inner knowing for some of you i'm getting my beautiful uh, pile number one in this relationship you guys are literally having love at first sight someone in this relationship maybe you or your future spouse got this love at first time or you know love at first sight this kind of a feeling because i can sense a true inner knowing is here because lovers six of cups and six of pentacle are you kidding me i shuffled in front of you so let's see what is the bottom of the deck oh my god Oh my god look at that look at that ten of cups what can i say if you are seeing my videos for a long time let me tell you ten of cups is ultimate family emotional fulfillment commitment a lot lots of trust loyalty emotional bonding is strong a love marriage is here a beautiful consent and permission from each families are here this is like the match made in heaven. I know it sounds like too good to be true. But this is true that you guys deserve this love. Because I can sense both of you have uh, so much experience in this uh, art. I can sense both of you are very old soul. And no matter how aged you are. But you guys are literally having um, more experience so it's gonna be a lot easier for both of you to confess love at the same point of time so we are gonna be seeing a new way that i have found find out because you know i can talk to this uh deck because tarot deck connect with you first of all it connects with you then it speaks in, in their own word and i can sense that this is amazing that i find out just right now that if any kind of bird or insect come out then you are gonna be proposing them and if kind if animal and fish come out then they are gonna be proposing you so i'm gonna be choosing two cards here okay so let's see which type of card comes here if birds or insect come out you are gonna be proposing and confessing love if in front of them for the first time or and if any kind of animal and fish come out then they are gonna be confessing their love to you for the first time so let's go tell me animal spirit what is there for me how can you guide my beautiful pile number one so let's go my darling shuffle with me three guides my guide angel archangel michael my heart shell channel message to me for my beautiful pile number one but what is there for them who is gonna be confessing the love and to propose for the first time who's going to confess that it's going to confess that okay so i think the shuffling is complete so it's going to confess card number one and for confirmation there is card number two so let's see wow i can oh my god i got insect and animal so exactly 27 and 47 you guys at the same point of time you guys are gonna be proposing to each other because i told you that if insect come out it's you who is gonna be first doing that it's not 27 my darling is 22 i'm so sorry it's 22 and 47 so maybe 22 is someone's birthday or number 2 is very important. 22 or number 4 is very important. And number 47 is here. So maybe number 47 or number 4 and 7 or 4 plus 7 is 11. Number 11 is very important. Or the month of February, May, not May, sorry, April and July may be important for you. So this is your energy, this is your future spouse energy. So I can sense both of you are exactly proposing and confessing love. That how you guys truly feel for each other at the same point of time. So first of all, your energy that is about truth, transcend, solution, dragonfly, spirit card number 22. This is all about transformation and having the true intention towards this relationship. I can sense my beautiful pile number one. You will tell your future spouse what your true intention about this connection what you truly feel because truth transcends illusion you're gonna be exactly telling them line by line point to point that how your future spouse makes you feel each and every time you connect with them okay i can sense dragonfly spirit is all about coming out of shell 
flying high, shining like a diamond. You're going to be feeling so confident. I'm kidding. You're going to be feeling so confident while confessing your love. It is no shame, no shy, nothing about to embarrass. You are so true to yourself and you are true to this relationship. And it's like, I need to tell you the truth. I need to tell you the truth that what I truly feel because there is no point of hiding anymore. I can sense you're going to be feeling like a beautiful lotus that is coming out of a mud and it's going so upward. It's so heavenly. I can sense my darling. You are a queen that has this crown. Can you sense there is a crown? Yes, there is a crown. The dragonfly is exactly wearing a crown. So you are like a queen that you can literally acknowledge yourself like a queen. I'm getting that wow and lots of blue color as you know the blue color is all about communication your communication skill will be very good and the behind color the background color is green lots of unconditional love is coming out at that point of time you are telling your true intention and true feelings you are having unconditional love for your future spouse so you are exactly not expecting anything to um like expecting anything in return you're just confessing your love you're not expecting them to support you appreciate you or deny this or allow this no it's like you are on your own power so powerful card to get okay and then you got this beautiful pig spirit that is about use your mind wisely. Your future spouse will be very wise and at that point of time they are going to be exactly keenly, very much curiously and a focus, in a focus they are going to be listening your things. They will be so focused that they are not having any idea what is going on outside. They will be they're going to be using their mind, their memory, their heart and soul to understand what you are telling them. And after listening your things, they are going to be confessing their feelings that how they truly feel about you. The peak spirit is also telling me that your future spouse may be very blunt while telling you their feelings. They will be exactly telling you like straight away, I love you because there is no one like you. I love you my pile number one because you makes me feel special. You makes me feel that I'm important to you. You wait for me. You give me first priority. You literally put me in the first position. That, that is the thing that I've always wanted. You don't want anything from me. You are not with me for money, for uh, status or uh, for anything else. And I'm not that beautiful like you. So you're not here for me, for my physical beauty. You are for me because you can understand what I am truly or what I truly am. So I'm getting my darling. So your future spouse will be exactly bluntly, brutally telling you their feelings. You will be quite... Um, I'm getting my pile number one. Wherever you're watching this video, you are quite, uh, you know, poetic or you're someone who is very good at speaking and th speaking by using any song or, you know, any uh, poem lines. You are very much uh, cultural and literally you are very good while speaking with others. So you can sugarcoat many things, not sugarcoat. It's like you can uh, design your communication skills. You can design whatever you are going to be telling them. It's quite soothing. But your future spouse will be quite straightforward and telling you whatever they are feeling. They're not going to be, you know, comparing it to another thing. They're not going to be telling you any poem. They're not going to be telling you any song. But they are going to be brutally, very short forward. And they're gonna be telling you what they truly feel and this is like so logically strong yeah yeah i love you and i don't see anyone like you because you are very much unique for me and your future spouse is exactly going to say that pile one i can sense that both of we both of us is exactly having that divine connection that divine contract because you know in my third eye chakra i can sense there is a judgment card that is coming for your reading i'm getting that both of you are exactly having some kind of a contract before coming in this art that exactly we're gonna be meeting this art and having this beautiful relationship oh, wow card number 22 card number 47 are gonna be very important for you so let's go see some of this love connection power of love oracle that what is there for you what in this relationship uh what is so uniqueness wow the first card is coming that is about self-love look at that 
you realize that the love of self is necessary to love another both of you or maybe this is you 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 are exactly so powerful at self loving loving yourself because you know if you're not going to be you know, giving importance to yourself how you're going to be you know loving the other person you need to be fulfilled before fulfilling others you need to be full with energy before healing another so you need to heal your energy first so i'm getting my darlings you you are going to be teaching your future spouse about self love you're going to be teaching your future spouse that how to love yourself how to do self care some kind of these things okay so what else okay wow release i can sense that you have the ability to give over unwanted energies to the loving forces of the universe. I can sense you are going to be helping your future spouse to release any kind of negativity or unwanted energies that is literally bothering in your relationship or bothering in your future spouse's mind. So you are going to be helping your future spouse to release those negative thoughts or vice versa. They are going to be helping you to release those negative energies. For some of you I am getting my pile number one. You are quite a revenge taker and you want to take revenge from those people who literally hurt you or hurt your feelings or maybe vice versa this is your future spouse energy maybe they are some kind of a revenge taker because you know you and your future spouse quite in the same level energy so sometimes i feel like both of your likes and dislikes and uh behavior are like same so both of you are maybe quite revenge taker you guys love to take revenge that whoever uh deals in a bad way with us you are gonna be taking revenge and making them feel the same way in this relationship when you guys are coming together both of you are releasing that negative vibrations and negative energy from uh, yourself and they're gonna be releasing this from themselves so this card wants to come out that is about discernment you are developing the skill to distinguish love from fear and truth from illusion and again truth from illusion and the, this dragon fight card is all about truth transcends illusion so if your future spouse is exactly gonna be hinting you or giving you some hint that they have been um uh, uh cheated because of this illusion they thought that uh, someone loves them or they thought someone literally uh loyal to them but they got cheated that was just illusion and you're gonna be telling your future spouse the true feelings that you have because you are not for any kind of illusion or magic show you are here for your truth and true feelings and honesty i can sense in this relationship there is lots of growing going on lots of growth is here you know building trust building faith in the love relationship again healing lots of lots of lots of love related uh, i mean healing is going on because i can't tell someone in this relationship maybe you or your future spouse definitely i'm getting your future spouse energy that they have lost the faith of any kinds of love relationship because of uh you know this kind of a uh, past baggages it's maybe their childhood trauma it's maybe their inner child has to heal something like that maybe their mom dad maybe their friend or maybe someone that they, that was very dear to them literally backstabbing happened to them stabbed in their back or do something that was really unfaithful or something like that so okay this may be their past stories right so don't worry they're gonna be telling you so we're gonna be seeing some of my handmade deck that what your future spouse wants you to know okay i love you baby oh it's so i told you oh my god my darlings i just channeled this message just a minute ago that your future spouse exactly gonna be telling you everything as a blunt as they can because they're gonna be telling first of all right away i love you baby so no more round and round and round they're gonna be telling you i love you baby because i don't see anyone like you are so let's go what the card is here that is trust your own intuition i am connecting with you in 5d level try to follow your inner voice i am there so maybe your future spouse is exactly connecting with you in a dream world so if you're having some sort of dream or the dream that you cannot understand maybe this is the energy that your future spouse is exactly giving you i have many plans about our future life i know we will make a great couple of course my darlings both of you are gonna be making this beautiful great couple 
है ओ गुड हाउ कैन यू बी सो स्वीट आई कॉन्ट वेट टू मैरी यू सो यूर बी जस्ट पास एग्जैक्टली कैन बी थेरिंग दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग दैट ओ गाड माई बेबी हाउ कैन यू बी सो स्वीट आई कॉन्ट वेट टू मैरी यू और सो दे जस्ट कैन नॉट वेट टू गेट मैरिड विथ यू ओ माई गाड ओ माई गेटनेस look at that my darlings look at that here you go so my card again we meant to be okay let me focus it my darlings we meant to be with each other no one can separate we are one exactly no one can separate this beautiful relationship you guys are exactly made for each other match in heaven and the soulmate card is coming exactly three times because the lovers and then the six of cups six of pentacle and this soulmate card is here confirming this is going to be beautiful soulmate vibration and both of you are going to be confessing love at the same point of time okay wow it's amazing it's amazing this is all i got for you my beautiful pile number 1 citronella pile if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already hit that bell icon so that you get notified by youtube when i upload new videos my darling comment down below that which part is literally resonating with you i love to read your comments till then stay happy and blessed i love you Mwah. Hello my darlings my beautiful pile number 2 if you choose this beautiful mandarin essential oil this is your reading and you are going to be seeing that who is going to be confessing love for the first time who will propose for the first time or uh, if it's going to be you or your future spouse all that all that details but first of all my darlings we are going to be seeing from the divine tarot from this beautiful deck that what will be the situation of that time about confessing the love confessing whatever you guys are truly feeling okay what will be the situation be like you know the moment the situation is something about your feelings something about your feelings oh okay hmm oh my god cards are so jumpy today let's speak guys guide an angel archangel michael mahershal channel message to me for my beautiful pile number 2 that whatever coming for you channel message to me my beautiful speak guys guide an angel i can tell my call my heart self my ancestors okay channel message to me that what is there for my beautiful pile number 2 the proposing ambience a situation of the purpose when on the situation will happen okay what will be the situation of the proposing what will be the situation of the proposing what will be the situation of the proposing okay this card wanted to come out so again 10 of cups wow amazing wow amazing amazing card that has came out wow 10 of cups that is pisces cancer scorpio then wow page of swords libra gemini aquarius okay these two cards wanted to come out so wow 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 the five of sword and the empress okay five of sword page of sword the ten of cups the empress and one more card that is a five of wands so five of wands and five of sword okay okay hmm I'm already getting a vibrations. Okay, so this may be a situation of a fight, of a argument. I know it's bad because don't worry because the outcome is very beautiful and very positive because you got the ten of cups and you got the empress. These two cards are the most positive card that one can get, right? So I can sense full family telling yes and the empress is all about having a very luxurious time very nurturing time but before that there will be this kind of situation there will be a playful fight for some of you your future spouse will be damn jealous of something maybe this person is um you know, your future spouse is someone who literally uh, playing very hard to get you guys are having beautiful friendship but uh, this is maybe friendly fight that you are having with your future spouse or maybe this person is having fight with the another one the, you know maybe many you got many suitors okay you got many suitors you are very attractive many people are literally proposing you or exactly giving their heart to you and you are refusing them and your future spouse is exactly you know at that point of time takes your love for granted okay 
I know it sounds a bit negative, but let me tell you, this is all the process, okay? This is all the divine process. So, then there is the five of swords. Why? Because again, the next day, your future spouse came to know that you are exactly talking with the suitors or this is not like you're cheating on them. It's like you are just communicating with them as a good citizen okay as a very good human being you are just communicating with them and you're just talking with them as um as a friend okay i mean those people who got those kind of i know attraction or crush on you and they told you that they have crush on you and you are still talking with them because your future spouse because you're not having anything in your mind you're just talking with them you're very open-minded because you're very much committed in this relationship and it's like yeah friendship but your future spouse never acknowledge their feelings for you Okay, in this situation, your future spouse literally never told you that how they feel about you or anything like that. They didn't tell you anything. So they are not going to be telling you that you're in a relationship at the same point of They're not going to be telling you that you're not in a relationship, quite in a hanging position that your future spouse is having. Sometimes you feel like so confused that if this person is mean to me or not, if I have to choose the another one or not, oh my God, lots of option I got. So I may ask this ask my future spouse that if they are into me or not if they are into me then let's have a relationship like normal couples do and if not then it's okay we can move on we can be a good friend but you know but not for a lifetime so yeah this kind of situation will be there and then there you go the page of sword that is quite telling me that your future spouse was exactly a planning to propose you in a more or uh, confessing their love in a more a cold way or uh, first of all they're gonna be uh, teasing you a bit more and checking you that if you are into other people or not so it can happen my beautiful babies that you know your future spouse exactly going to admire those suitors or admire those other people maybe one or two person in front of you i mean your suitors okay and uh, your future spouse is going to um admire them and uh exactly looking at your expression looking at your face that's how you really react and you are reacting in a quite normal that oh okay yeah they are good but not for me they're not my type then your future spouse go those kind of confidence and validations that okay so those person is exactly not my beautiful pile to type so maybe i got a clear road to jump in and you got the page of sword page of sword is quite you know having a very sharp mind page of sword is all about having a very sharp mind they are very knowledgeable they're evergreen because page of sword is always learning 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 and they're very good at cutting any cards that is literally hurting their feelings and they can move on very easily and your future spouse is exactly um uh they need time before having a beautiful committed relationship for some of you this person got some kind of commitment phobia this person don't want to commit to you because they feels like that everything finishes when it comes to relationship if you come into relationship the best friend things will go on i mean that will go away because your future spouse don't want to lose a friend like you i don't know my darlings if i've seen the netflix show what that is you know a uh, bridgerton okay i don't know if you have seen this or not but you know there is a beautiful friendship that was between simon and delphi so maybe like not delphi like Delphi or I don't know. I just forgot the female character. I know that you you, you got it, right? So, exactly. So, Pegasus Sword is exactly like that. They want to have that a friendship lifetime. And then they are exactly coming into these beautiful proposals. I can sense the proposal will happen in the garden, in the ceremony, in a... Um, for some of you this is outdoor because i can sense lots of garden lots of flower and uh, there is church or a mosque or a temple or it's kind of you know winter time that everyone is exactly having over court or something like that i can also sense that you know this place is uh quite outdoor maybe you guys are on a long drive on you know, a while driving somewhere 
or you guys are exactly going somewhere else it's not a restaurant or something like that it's an open place okay um it's maybe that you're you guys are exactly having a family get together or a beautiful friends get together a reunion i don't know it's many places for many people but it's gonna be uh, quite open okay it's not a, uh, a secluded place but it's very open uh, it may be like you know having ocean or lake or pond or fountain or there may be the picture of mermaid god goddess because i don't know this is virgin mary for me um mm -hmm. so it's maybe church or near the church or near a many uh, a religious place this this is gonna be happening and your future spouse exactly going to give you like someone okay i'm gonna be checking that who is gonna be um proposing the first but as well as i'm getting your future spouse is going to propose you because you are also very hard to get you they know how you feel but you are also someone that you're not ready to propose for the first time because you're not sure that your future spouse is uh, in this relationship or not because they give you sometimes mixed signals, okay? So I'm getting my darlings that exactly they're going to be giving you some gift. It may be flower, it may be a ring or jewelry or it may be some kind of they may give you some sharp object it may be some dagger compass you know the, the magical something or um flowers i can sense flowers is very much here okay and many colorful flowers or they maybe give you something about a cloth or a beautiful scarf or um, a pair of earrings a beautiful engagement ring or something like that okay because i can't sense or maybe they're gonna be giving you some beautiful feather i don't know my darlings if you are into spirituality or not maybe you do some sort of spiritual practice yeah also gonna be giving you uh, related to those things okay so let me check two more tarot cards i want to see more that what will be the situation first um okay let's check this card wow three of wands that is all about expanding so yeah um this person will exactly propose you in a high place in a high tower in a very playful time maybe in the night time and you guys are exactly enjoying the time a lot three of wands is also the card that you know in your lifetime in your time you're exactly expanding your business your career you are very much lucky having lots of opportunities you are in earning lots of money a lot of money is having uh, you're having lots of money in your hands okay so if you're not working maybe your parents your siblings who literally work for you and give you money are maybe you are you are literally earning some money because i can't sense three of one is all about expansion expanding this is about you know leveling up higher status you know i'm getting that your future spouse is going to chase you for some of you i can't sense that for the initial stage both of you are exactly having a beautiful friendship then you try to chase them but it didn't work out so you just you just you know give up on that thing that oh my god no 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 i'm not gonna be chasing this person at all i'm not gonna be chasing my future spouse who comes and comes i don't want to chase anybody okay i know what my destiny is if he or she is in my destiny he or she will come to me i'm not gonna be doing that your future spouse is exactly going to chase you like crazy they are gonna be chasing you like crazy i'm not telling you the cards are telling you right you can see so this person will exactly you know um do something very magical that you like they may be exactly dressing like a very vintage style and exactly going to propose you with a vintage classical style like you know kneeling down in front of you no matter who they are man or a woman doesn't matter okay because because this is not gender specific if you're watching this video this is your future spouse okay and don't worry i'm gonna be checking from the animal spirit oracle that who is gonna be confessing or proposing the first time so bear with me okay so i'm getting that this person will chase you like crazy this person is going to catch you it 
maybe you literally make them feel that you are running away or you are not waiting for them anymore and you are literally choosing option uh, for the future i'm getting this kind of a vibrations will happen i mean this person will get a feeling of they, their gut feelings will say that you are not waiting for them anymore you are ready to move on so yeah this kind of a feeling but you guys are a very good friend though because empress card is all about a nurturing energy that you literally give your future spouse very nurturing very polite very like an, an angel and ten of cups is all about happy fulfillment so before that fulfillment there will be this kind of a shitty things that is going to happen okay so unless it happens your future spouse will not be able to understand that how powerful you are okay so let's go and check so i already told you in the pile one if you have seen this and if you haven't so let me tell you one more time there is a four type of things a bird insect animal and fish and if the bird and insect came out that means you are gonna be confessing love for the first time if animal and fish came out then your future spouse will be uh, confessing their love for the first time okay so we're gonna be seeing that which which things literally come out so Spirit guides, my guardian angel, Archangel Michael Mahershal, channeled message to me for my beautiful pile number two. That who is going to confess a love for the first time? Who is going to confess love for the first time? Pile number two. Spirit guides, my guardian angel, Archangel Michael Mahershal, tell me who is going to confess a love for the first time. Okay, I'm gonna be pulling two cards here to confirm it. Okay. Okay, one and two. Okay, so let's go and see what is there. Boom! The animals, your person. I told you. Oh my god, spirit, thank you so much for your message. I love it. My pile number two, your future spouse is going to propose you, going to confess the, their love for the first time. You are the receiver, they are the giver because you saw these both of these cards are animal. I told you if animal and fish came out, your future spouse is going to propose you and both of these cards. Look at that. You got the Koita spirit card number 16. You got the dog spirit card number 19 and you got the dog. What is dog? Dog is about loyalty dog is about a very much loyal and be loyal to what you love card number 19 your future spouse will believe that they are very much loyal to this friendship loyal to this relationship and you're also very much loyal and they can't wait anymore because as you know the dog spirit dogs are exactly chasing their masters they just cannot live without their master right so your person will be a kind of a they're having a puppy face they will be very loyal to you like no matter how you refuse them they're gonna be clinging to you until you say yes yes i'm getting this kind of energy from the coyote spirit as you know the coyote spirit is all about trust in divine detail trust on the divine timing and i don't know my darlings i have already told you in my different kind of videos that coyote spirit is like a gift in disguise okay so maybe early disappointments are just the beginning of your gift there will be fight there will be ego fight or like you know hiding feelings from each other you are literally showing your care and everything but they are not gonna be showing their care and everything to you and they are literally burning for you in the in, from the inside but they're not gonna be telling you that whatever they feel and the things happen those jealousy things happen their future spouse got very jealous and they think that oh my god if this goes on then they are gonna be losing you so that's why the coyote spirit is coming and then the dog your future spouse is ready to propose you and being in this relationship like this commitment um towards you and oh my god lots of commitment lots of love lots of loyalty is coming out of this relationship what else do you want my darling so exactly in a way your relationship is like tower in your life so unpredictable 
your future spouse someone who literally have very unpredictable behavior in this relationship you just cannot predict what they are thinking at the second point of time that's why it's so adventurous so interesting okay you will be always surprised by their behavior okay how many cards two cards are coming let's see joy is here look at that how beautiful is that joy so much colors you delight in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to all that you do exactly in this relationship you and your future was both of you doing both of you are having so much of joy happiness and fun adventures paragliding skydiving swimming or you know horse riding going into the very funny places literally doing lots of funs together your person is literally wants to have a life like a gypsy they wants to have a life like oh my god i i want to travel the world i want to work out with you i want to go to the gym i want to build a gym in my house i want to be the most fit and healthy couple that other people are literally seeing us taking our pictures in the instagram we have um, one million followers something like that they want to be this kind of a relationship and the next card is peaceful as well you recognize that balance kindness and love brings calmness to your soul so in this relationship as you know the green color is all about heart chakra is gonna be very much open for both of you you're gonna be having unconditional love for them they're gonna be having unconditional love for you both of you are coming into this unionship and bringing the best uh, from each other i can sense my darling both of you are literally working on the comparison or what is exactly different you guys are exactly compromising those things uh, as well as you guys are cherishing the beautiful um similarities that you guys have i can send this is quite having twin flame energies twin flame connection i can sense my darling that both of you are exactly two extremes coming together that's why it's like a blast okay so um, the one card let's go take this card that is about wow well, gratitude again lots of green color so gratitude card is here that is you fully appreciate the invaluable lessons that life loving represents to you so i'm getting your future spouse got many lessons from their past uh the past that you are not there maybe they got some kind of broken heart they have very toxic relationship they have very toxic friendship or maybe you got many toxic friendships i'm getting my darlings your future spouse may have seen lots of bad relationship in front of their eyes okay maybe their friends families or cousins talk about this kind of a, a treacherous behavior that how other people cheat the other people so they were kind of a commitment phobia was there but you came into their life and you are literally bringing um out them from a shell okay exactly and green green a lots of lots of lots of um you know unconditional love is coming here from this relationship so let's go see what my hand with god literally got for you my spirit guides my guardian angel archangel michael my heart soul channeled message to me for my beautiful pile number two that what is there for you so yeah there is four cards and look at that okay so oh my god i feel so protective of you you are mine i can't take off my eyes on you i told you my darlings that your person will be very protective of you and they will be secretly obsessed with you or addicted with you and they maybe don't know that why they are so addicted to you but they do they may be someone my pal number two that your future spouse exactly gonna be reading the old text messages old pictures of you they're gonna be seeing it again and again and again so wow they feel protective of you i want to have a big family with you so they want to have a big family with you i just want to have endless kisses and cuddles with you oh i can't get enough of you you are my drug i told you my darlings they can't get enough of you they are your you are their drugs and you are just like so addictive to them so oh my god so this spirit is so happy with me 
okay baby my love look at that baby my love we are not ready yet but soon the time will come when we are living together forever so i'm getting my darlings you are not ready yet to be with this person maybe you guys need to wait for some time so some kind of divine timing is here and spirits are telling me that it's not the right time to meet your future spouse because there is lots of lessons they need to get before they come to you yes i am older than you you know spiritually i am more experienced than you are i treat you like a baby but i am getting my darlings for some of you your future spouse may be a little bit younger than you uh, physically but let me tell you this is general reading so if this is not resonating you can leave that energy but they are in a spiritual level in a experience level they are way too older than you they're so older that you cannot imagine their spiritual age i can sense your future spouse is also someone very old soul they have been reincarnated in this earth uh more than you do okay so wow this is all i got for you my beautiful pile number two if you like this video give it a thumbs up also subscribe to my channel hit that bell icon so that you get notified by youtube whenever i upload new videos and my darlings comment down below that which part is literally resonating with you and suggest me any kind of video i'll definitely do that till then stay happy and healthy stay always blessed i love you guys so much Mwah. Hello my darlings, welcome to my channel. So if we choose this beautiful pile number 3, that is lemongrass essential oil my darlings. This is your reading. So let's go. We are going to be seeing in this video that who is going to propose or confess their love for the first time. If it is you or your future spouse and how those things will happen. What will be the situation of your love confession or you know, who is the one that is going to be confessing or you know exactly telling the true feelings for each other who is gonna be the first one if it is if it's you or your future spouse so first of all you are gonna be seeing from the divine tarot deck that what will be the situation okay what will be the situation of this beautiful event in which situation this confession or these proposings proposals will be happening what will be the situation what will be your feelings their feelings placement okay wow my spirit guys got an angel archangel making my heart self channel message to me for my beautiful pile number three that what is there for them okay who you know the confession that pile number three is in the relationship what will be the situation and who is gonna be confessing for the first time don't worry my darlings who is gonna be doing this for the first time i'm gonna be confirming it from animal spirit oracle but from the tarot i'm gonna be seeing the whole situation okay the first card is already here okay the second card the third fourth and it's done so okay there is two of coins this is two of pentacle okay this is seven of sword so Taurus of Capricorn Libra Gemini Aquarius there is the hanged man okay the hanged man okay the strength oh okay. the strength and the hierophant wow the strength and the hierophant wow three major arcana i can sense there is three major arcana hierophant taurus uh, strength leo and hanged man and there is seven of sword and two of coins first of all let me tell you my talents my pile number three the situation will be um i can sense Pile number three, someone, you are watching this video, you may be single mother or single father, that you, you already have a child. Of course, it's a general reading, my darlings. If you are not resonating with this, you can leave the message, okay? I can sense maybe you are going to be having this relationship with a married person or the person that have, you know, some kind of a divorce or they are divorcee. 
if you don't want to get uh, in a relationship with th those people th they are divorcee maybe this is not a message for you okay i need to tell you what angels are trying to tell me so i am getting my darling seven of swords and two of coins there is two things that you are juggling you got two options you got two choices okay at that point of time maybe two people are exactly coming in your life with a beautiful proposals and you love both of them or in a way you have good friendship with both of them and seven of swords is telling me that uh, your future spouse will be um, quite secretive uh, with their past quite secretive that has done with them that what has uh, literally what they have gone through they will uh, quite secretly with that they're not gonna be telling you for the initial stages because of embarrassment of course i can sense your future spouse my pile number three they are someone they are very hard working first of all they're very hard working they are very rich okay i can sense my pile number three your future spouse is going to be very rich they are so rich that their financial status is higher higher than you think higher than you this is 100 percent sure their future you know your future spouse's financial status will be very good in a very good place okay maybe they got you know mercedes or something like that already so you know how good is that and they are literally hiding their family life from the people or from the outer world because they are very embarrassed this is their inferiority complex that they have a very good career but their family life is like a bullshit this is so bad it may happen okay and if you're someone watching uh, that you already got a child or you are literally watching this for second marriage or third marriage it it's it's also going to be resonating with you someone here maybe only one or only two you are having this energy that's why two of coins is here i'm getting okay so moreover what will be the situation first of all there will be social status that you guys will be thinking a lot that's why the hanged man is your hanged man is all about stuck in a position thinking sleeping and uh, lots of thought processes going on okay in your relationship and seven of swords people will be very curious about this relationship a kind of a secretive energy that in this relationship both of you got and other people literally got very you know attracted with that secrecy attracted with that um intimacy that what is going on in this relationship it's so intense i'm getting my talents both of you are very powerful head of and strength both of you are very powerful your future spouse is exactly like a boss or maybe you're someone who is like a boss and you guys are exactly um going to uh tame that boss that that boss that no one can come to them okay it may not be any kind of marriage it's maybe a broken relationship like something that the marriage was exactly uh fixed but that marriage never done or never happened because of some cheating or something like that it may be the case okay so the situation will be you guys you and your future spouse will be thinking about the social a lot so spirits are exactly telling me that to tell you you don't have to think twice about what the other people are thinking you guys are so powerful that whatever you do people have no guts to tell anything negative in front of you okay the hanged man is also telling me that you will be feeling quite um silent at that point of time maybe uh the proposal or the confessing is exactly coming from your future spouse okay i am getting my darlings you will be maybe having a time that um not calling them or they, you are quite busy with your work or they are quite busy with their work so there will be minimal calling or minimal uh talking with each other so it quite feels like you know a very low wave and just the low wave is happening here and then your future spouse exactly coming with a strong proposal because you know the hierophant card this is a bull lady that is exactly in a wedding ceremony this is a person who is exactly waiting for this wedding and marriage this person doesn't believe in this relationship or no no non-married relationship anymore because this person is all about okay we're in a relationship i cannot wait to get married to you so your future spouse will exactly gonna be meeting your 
parents or your guardian whoever they are so your person your person exactly gonna be meeting your guardian and going to talk with them because the hierophant card is quite orthodox quite um a traditional they will need your future spouses uh i mean your future spouse will need your parents permission and their consent about this marriage or maybe your friends okay they're gonna be meeting your family and then they are gonna be telling you that they want to see the future with you they want to have future kids with you they want to make you beautiful empire with you this person is very confident very focused they got leo energy so they are gonna be uh, like a leader they will always be dominating they are so dominating that they will try to dominate you but you are very good at in a submissive way so okay let me say it in a proper way this is not about dominating in a bedroom it's about that their energy will be quite bossy and you love their bossy nature and you know what you will literally uh, make them the good boss you will literally make them uh, a beautiful peaceful person from an arrogant beast okay i can sense my darling that your person will literally have a a beautiful place it's maybe kind of a home maybe they are taking you to their home or this person exactly going to your home it's kind of a homely place okay and this person will exactly gonna be giving you a beautiful dress or a beautiful jewelry this is not a ring i can sense a necklace or a bracelet or something very unique or a very good dress okay a traditional dress they're gonna be giving you and telling you that let's get married let's just get lost from this world let's just get married to uh let's just get married and have a new life there is no one between us we are only two of us and we will have our new fresh start okay i am getting my talents my pile number three if you're someone you're very single and if you want a single person that have never uh, any kind of relationship this is also gonna be happening because the hierophant for sometimes the hierophant is all about my pile number three you're gonna be having the arranged marriage okay for some of you your parents or your friends or their parents their friends are having this kind of relationship you know this relationship is coming from a friend or a family they're gonna be giving you this beautiful person and both of you are coming together having few debts and this person exactly gonna be confessing their feelings that let's get married and after that you're gonna be knowing each other more so it's quite traditional it's quite kind of orthodox and your person is quite um hobby or wifey material okay they are very responsible honest authentic care they are very careful with their words they are very promising they know how to keep their words they know how to keep their vows okay the vows that in a wedding we take uh like this is not fun or joke for them they literally do follow those vows okay because they want to become the best mom or dad they want to become the best hubby or wifey in this world okay they will give you everything no matter how you are or who you are they want to provide it for you if they are if you're watching for a female or if you're watching for a male doesn't matter but they got a very strong personality okay they got a very strong personality in the social they got a lot of power so how will be the confession happen the confession will literally be very um or the proposal will be a very orthodox kind of a proposal okay it's very different maybe you have no idea that this person is exactly gonna be proposing you at that day they're just gonna be meeting you or telling your parents that they want to get married and you will be like oh my god you didn't tell me you're just telling here for the first time oh my god i feel so shy in front of my parents yeah this kind of a thing can happen so let's go check from this beautiful animal spirits that you know there is four type of energy that is bird insect animal and fish so if bird and insect come out then you are gonna be confessing your love and affection for them for the first time or if you know animal and fish came out then your future spouse is going to do it for the first time okay so you're gonna be confirming it that what spirits wants me to know that who are gonna be confessing the love or proposing it for the first time so let's go spirit guides my guardian angel archangel michael my heart self 
channel to my sister through me for my beautiful palama tree i was going to propose this beautiful connection for the oh my god okay 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 first time spirits tell me what is there for you okay who is going to okay so insect and animal okay it's 50 50 my darlings both of you are exactly uh confessing love at the same point of time wow it's amazing isn't it okay I can sense this is Quirrell spirit that is believe in yourself, your future spouse. Exactly, look at that. They're not exactly. They're gonna be, wow, giving you that proposal, giving you that beautiful confession of love, proposing you for wedding, and they will be like, believing in themselves. They will be very much confident in front of your families, and maybe in the dinner or in the lunch they're gonna be, um, literally you know composing this kind of thing. Card number 57, I can't sense this is animal, so your future spouse will be the first one. And then there is insect, that is carrot battle spirit magic works through you. Card number 52, you're going to be then joining your future spouse. And both of you are exactly expressing in front of your parents that yes, I want to have this beautiful future with you. Let's get married. So it's like your future spouse is telling it for the first time and you are exactly accepting this right away and having this beautiful connection if you're drawn to pile one you can see pile one if you're not then it's okay because i can't send this is 50 50 this is the exact same timing first of all this is gonna be starting from your future spouse your future spouse is exactly going to uh propose or into confessing this love for the first time and then you are gonna be following uh, your future spouse's path okay because this is two magical cards i can sense my darling you are manifesting this beautiful connection into your life for some of you my pile number three i can sense um you are marrying someone they have seen a lot of people and you are exactly so much unique, so much different that they are literally thinking that, oh my God, I am so blessed to have a person like my beautiful pile number three. Wow. So it's quite uh, exactly same, same energy, okay? Wow. So let's go see that what is in the relationship you guys got. What is in the relationship you guys are literally having. trust oh my god trust is here we have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition oh my god so you and your future spouse both of you have lots of trust in this relationship what else do you want to know pile three you got trust your future spouse is so much loyal and trustworthy towards you and you're also gonna be very loyal and trustworthy towards your future spouse so much of trust and loyalty is coming in this connection wow trust 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 willingness yes yes so you are able to compromise if the end result is love so yes you are gonna be having this beautiful connection this beautiful relationship you will be very bold and powerful in front of your family in front of your friends that yes i want to get married to this person because this is the one i love i want to have a big family this may be you guys are completely coming from different worlds maybe you know there is skin color different culture difference or you guys are having some kind of differences in yourself okay so you guys are exactly and uh, overcoming those obstacles and coming in to get together because you guys are willing for this relationship wow amazing so what is this card oh, oh my god humility that is you have developed the loving awareness that you and everyone else are the same but on different paths oh my god are you are you kidding me i was just telling you the same thing oh my god that's why i have to shuffle in front of you that you and your future spouse may be from a different path Maybe you guys are having some differences, but it doesn't matter because both of your destination is exactly same. And both of you will have lots of forgiveness in this connection, lots of self-love in this connection, and lots of patience also. 
because i can sense your future spouse is gonna be very patient in patient in this relationship and they know how to be in this relationship like a good boy or like a good girl okay let's go see some of the some of my handmade tarot deck handmade message card that what your future spouse wants you to know what your future spouse really wants you to know my beautiful pile number three okay Okay, let me focus it my darlings royal love stay with me love me live with me make an empire with me be my queen not a king maybe they're gonna be telling you this type of words that babe stay with me love me live with me make an empire with me be my king or a queen this this person is having a, quite a lot of money wow then the card is first i didn't believe in love at first sight but you make me believe that love at first sight can happen in real life i'm in love with you so for your future spouse this is love at first sight and they fall in love with you for the first time and it, this is you really make them believe that yes love at first sight do exist we have met before but i am so sorry i failed to recognize you i am a fool i didn't know you are the one maybe you guys have met before but your future spouse will be um like they will be so shocked that oh my god they believe that yes love at first sight happens but they're not believing that this kind of fairy tale happens in this in this real world so yes you're exactly making them believe in those fairy tales again so okay this card and these two cards are gonna be coming here so you have such a lovely smile it can warm up any cold heart you are one in a million so exactly your smile something about your smile my beautiful pile number three that you literally make your future spouse's mind go crazy and you can literally warm up their cold heart okay the next card is okay okay look at that please unblock me please unblock me i want to connect with you forgive me please i made a mistake i want to reconcile with you for some of you this is a person that you may be having a kind of a friendship but this person failed to recognize you for the first time so you maybe block them or this person maybe unknowingly hurt your feelings this is like unknown for them this may happen or this may be your ex that is coming back if you don't want to be your ex this is not the energy for you maybe if you're waiting for your person this is a kind of a confirmation that your person wants to come back in your life yes they want to come back okay let's take the another one okay i am traveling towards you okay i'm traveling towards you i love to see you sleeping like a baby oh your future spouse love to see you sleeping like a baby and wow look at that you are my twin flame you mirror me i mirror you uh, you and me same soul so you guys exactly mirror each other you guys are so much same that oh my god like twin from connection you know how how difficult is that right like two extremes are coming together emotions are running high i feel my heart aches so much my my heart needs your love yes your future spouse needs your love your future spouse needs your connection needs your love needs your cuddles oh my god and look at that this card also come out that is he or she is the one so i don't know my darlings if you have someone in your mind then they are the one for you so you are quite right about this person wow this is all i got for you my beautiful pile number three my lemon grass essential oil if you like this video give it a thumbs up also subscribe to my channel hit that bell icon so that you get notified by youtube whenever i upload new videos my darling you know comment down below that which part is literally resulting with you suggest me any kind of video i'll definitely do that i love to read the comments my darlings till then stay happy and blessed i love you my darlings Mwah.